My name is Lona Frank. Um, I'm a Danish author uh, and science writer. I'm an ex-biologist. Uh, my book uh, is called My Beautiful Genome, um, and it's about the revolution of personal genomics, and it's also about my personal journey into this new world of genetics. I volunteered to take part in a major research project to examine the connection between specific genes and personality, in particular a tendency towards depression. We finally reached the last questionnaire. A young female researcher is gazing cheerily at me from across the table. I'd like to ask you some questions about your immediate family, having to do with drug and alcohol abuse, criminality, and psychological illness. About alcohol, she continues, I also have to ask you about yourself. How many drinks do you have during the course of a week? It must be around 14, I lie promptly and deftly. For some reason, 20 or a bit more doesn't sound good, and my intention is always to stick to 14. She nods enthusiastically. 14 drinks, that's within the National Board of Health recommendations. Good, good, she says at last, displaying an almost liberated smile. Yes, well, I don't think I have any more questions. But I do, I have questions. They've been smoldering quietly in my mind as we progressed from question to question. They were probably the real reason I volunteered to be part of this genetic study. If I'm to be honest, there is a direct connection between my interrogation today in a nondescript scientist's office and the hospital room at the other end of the country where I held my father's hand as he died on a summer's day a year earlier. Because what is an interest in genetic information about? It's about your heritage, your history, your identity. Where do I come from? Who am I? Am I going to be like my parents? How will I die and when? These are questions humans have always asked, but now they can be asked very pointedly and put to a wonderfully tangible informant, our own DNA. And I cannot help but ask these questions of my biology. I am a biologist by training. I'm deeply fascinated by the human being as an organism, as a miraculous result of myriad microscopic processes unfolding. Well, it's a book about personal genomics, so I thought, well, to engage people in that topic, I'll have to make it less abstract than it sounds and actually make it personal. So I decided to use myself as the guinea pig, so to speak, and I you know, go out and get my own genetic information in order to be able to describe how it feels, what you get out of it. There are typically uh, two kinds of responses to the book. Uh, one is that you know, there is a group of people who, if they want to read about science, they don't want to read about someone's personal life and they just think, you know, you know, stay out of your own book, for God's sake, just write about genetics. Uh, there's also uh, a larger group, <laughs> fortunately, um, who actually, you know, like that in particular and say, you know, this is, I have never been interested in genetics before. I've heard that, this a lot. I've never been interested in genetics and suddenly, you know, because there is this personal history, I can relate to it and I can actually see how interesting this stuff is. So, you know, when I hear that kind of response, I'm like, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to get. <laughs> First of all, it was completely unexpected uh, to be nominated for this prize. And when I look at the other nominees, <laughs> I feel in very, very, very good and distinguished company. Um, so it has meant uh, a lot. We are, I think, in sort of uh, the first beginning of a revolutionary kind of development. We don't know exactly what is going to happen uh, with genetics. And I would hope that people will start you know, engaging and also engaging in the debate about how are we going to use this uh, knowledge, this kind of information in, in society and where are we not going to use it. So I hope to sort of upgrade people's knowledge and interest in this area and, and get them discussing.